All right, Free Radicals, welcome back. It is I, Dave, and uh, doing this again at $4 a day, really raking in the dough. Um, look, I'm, you don't have to give money to this channel because giving money to this channel at this point is like, you know, trying to put a, a Band-Aid on the Titanic as it starts to go under the water. Um, I'm just doing this now because I like to do it. Uh, I have another channel if that one starts to really, and that one's down a lot too, but the thing is, uh, that one can sustain me a little bit better than this one, and so I'm just going to keep going, and um, maybe someone will come along and say, hey, um, we got you for this year, we'd like to cover your content, we'd like to sponsor you, whatever, if you're a, a business, and for instance, and you want me to give you guys a shout out, during the video, online business or local business, small business, whatever, um, I'll try to do something. We we gotta look. This is our country, all right. This is, you know, the future of of the human race here, the United States, the empire, and I, I'd like to see the empire get you know knocked down a peg or two and have the people actually control the country rather than the oligarchs and these uh, everybody's a billionaire who wants to run for president and take everything over trump's a billionaire bloomberg's a billionaire uh, our buddy tom steyer he's a billionaire and they're really afraid a guy like bernie sanders uh, or a woman like tulsi gabbard more hard scrabble just came up through society the correct way kept advocating for what they believe in I uh, isn't super well connected, is not going to be spoken highly of at your martini cocktail party or whatever. The working class, remember the working class? I know the Democratic Party forgot about him, and that's why Trump won, by the way, because Trump, even though he just paid lip service, at least he paid lip service. That's how bad things are right now. And you know what else is bad? The fact that we can't get any substantive reporting about Tulsi Gabbard. She won a push-up contest, which is cool. But the other night, she had an amazing sit-down with Dennis Kucinich and Steve Kisner talking about foreign policy and our endless warfare state. Okay? And it it's mind-boggling that that got so little coverage. But yet, this story seems to be a really cool story all over the place, social media, buzzing about Tulsi winning the push-up contest. WMUR's Gene Mackin, an anchor, says, she won. She wins. Oh boy. Yay. Woohoo. Um, and there it is. That's the story. If you Google Tulsi Gabbard right now, that's the number one story. Now, I just want to wrap this up. I'm just going to be a very short video by saying that independent truly independent media by the way and that's different from progressive media progressive media is in their own echo chamber they don't hear anybody in the center they don't hear anybody on the right they don't hear anybody but themselves talking about themselves and talking about their own language their own religion because that's what everybody seems to be if you're a conservative if you're hyper religious yes you speak in platitudes or you speak in a lingo that only you and a couple of your closest people friends confidants understand um, there's another guy on here his name is Charles he does a channel called the vigilant independent uh, his revenue has also uh, gone down the tubes as well um, being truly independent means you're listening to everybody and you're formulating an opinion um, and your opinion may start to shift toward the left or toward the right. Uh, like most good independent commentators, um, it's an issue by issue thing where it's not just, okay, I've been programmed to think this way on this issue, or I've been programmed to like this particular politician. You know, I've seen some progressive politicians get up there and tell me I should vote for them because of intersectionality. And I just go, what? What are you saying? What What does that even mean to the average voter? And that's what I mean. They're in this narrow little echo chamber where they're not talking 
big big ticket issues. They're talking about wedge issues. I did a poll about woke feminism versus Medicare for all, and I got chastised. Of course I did. You don't understand the feminist movement. Yeah, I do. I, I think in, in some areas it's run amok. I'd love to see women succeed and do well in society, but it has nothing to do with woke feminism. I mean, if you have um, better health care, I think you're uh, a better person. You're going to be able to function in society, male or female. And we have to stop all the nonsense and the bean counting and you not understanding me and then putting me down when I'm not putting you down personally. This is the other thing that I keep seeing. So I appreciate people still watching this channel. Um, if you feel like you want to support the channel, uh, you can do so via PayPal and Patreon. And yes, unfortunately, to open up a second Patreon account with all my devices synced and everything working off the one Patreon account I have, that would be that's going to be a nightmare for me. Um, a technologically challenged man here. So the fact that I have a Patreon, that I have a PayPal account that that's functioning, that I I have a Rockfin channel as well, which you know again some content will get over there eventually. Um, I, I, I mean, there's not much else I can do. I'm spreading the message about Tulsi Gabbard. Um, I did talk about Bernie Sanders on Twitter and got a little beat up about it. So I don't, <laughs> I don't know what I should do anymore. And I think there are a lot of people who are just, I guess, politically agnostic who look at all this and just say, forget it. I'm just going to take care of my family I'm just going to worry about my local community, which I always stress that if you can change things locally, you're probably going to have a better life. If you change things nationally, that stuff probably ain't going to reach you. It might, it might not, depends on how drastic the change is. But people put so much of their hope in something that probably won't even help them in the long run. So again, just a little advice. Um, at the end of the day, we still fight on. Uh, I make my $4 a day and, and dropping, and I smile. And now I'm at the point where I'm getting a little sadistic about it, and I'm thinking, okay, <laughs> how low can this go? All right, uh, I am done with this video. Um, thanks for watching, and again, if you feel generous, um, you know, you know where to go. All right, thanks. See you soon.